Good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Jim Sears, Senior Director of Worldwide Alliances, Mark Logic. This is our last day of Mark Logic World today. And um, with me, I have uh, Karen Way. Uh, Karen and I have been working together for the last several months in the, the health plan vertical. But um, a, lot of, a lot of people don't know you, Karen. So can you introduce yourself and what you do at uh, NTT? Sure, thanks, Jim. I'm Karen Way. I'm the Global Solutions Lead for Health Plan Analytics at NTT Data Services. And we basically provide services across the front, middle, and back office for health plans. So I specialize in analytics, so I do semantics, uh, machine learning, predictive analytics, all of those kind of fun things. Perfect. And uh, you guys are pretty big in the healthcare vertical. Can you sort of give us an overview of, of your presence in the healthcare vertical? Sure, as I said a moment ago, we have a full suite of uh, BPAS business process as a service solution areas. We cover the front, middle, the back office. We do provider data management. We also can do infrastructure. Um, we cover the gamut. Good, I and mean, you guys are quite big in that vertical. What? You've seen this through a unique lens. What are some of the, the biggest challenges you see in the healthcare vertical today? One of the biggest challenges is, in, in fact, the switch from fee-for-service to value-based care. That's resulted in a lot of convergence between the health plan and the provider markets. And as such, there's a lot of data that they're beginning to share that they've never shared before in different formats. Um, trying to utilize that data in the analytics space is challenging for them because they don't have common formats. I mean, they ha yes, you have HL7, you have FHIR, you have the EDI transactions, but for example, in the pre-authorization world, there's a lot of pieces of documentation, support documentation that come in that not, aren't in a structured format. So trying to utilize that in the analytics becomes really challenging. It's interesting. I, I know I'm uh, looking forward to this value-based care. I think that's going to be a that's going to be a long time coming. Um, in, in the healthcare vertical, what's been the traditional approach to data integration in the last five, ten years? H has much changed? Um, You're talking to somebody that's been in the business a while, Jim. So okay. <laughs> the integration has changed significantly. I mean, when I first started out, it was you know hand coding, making sure data manual manipulation to be able to put the data in a you know, specific CSV file so it's a flat file and can go in nicely. Over the years, you've had tools like Informatica and other ETL tools that come in and can help to do that in a drag and drop fashion. Now, again, you're getting into the area where you can't put certain things into a specified format because they're not structured or it's a document or it's a map. How do you put a map in a CSV file? Um, so being, being able to integrate all of that data has become extremely challenging. But companies, regardless of the vertical, really want to do this because they've recognized that data is an asset and they need to be able to utilize the proliferation of data that's out there today. Interesting, interesting. And then, um, um, are there new trends that you're seeing from a data integration perspective? The trend I see is wanting to use as much data as possible. Um, getting that broader view of a member, for example, is critical to health plans and providers to really understand what's the best path of care for them. And to get some of that information, you have to bring in clinician notes, which aren't necessarily structured, and they may be abbreviated, so there's an interpretation of those abbreviations. Um, being able to bring in images from healthcare, you know, x-rays, CT scans, being able to utilize that information in conjunction with the structured information, there's definitely a need for being able to do that. And we have some active engagements with you guys um, right now, and, and I know you can't share all the information, but can you maybe tease the audience with, you know, at least a high level view of what we're, tr you know, what we're trying to accomplish in the health sure. plan space? Sure, one of the things that we're trying to do, as you well know, is really develop the capabilities for our health plan customers and across our verticals in NTT, because what we're trying to build is applicable across, um, is be able to integrate those data sources, be able to take them all in, harmonize them, and make them such that we can just go and, and query once, instead of having to query multiple databases, bring all that data together and manipulate it further, being able to do that, and we're utilizing MarkLogic as the database to be able to do that. So a 360 degree view of the, of the patient and the, the entire health plan. Absolutely. Being able to identify all those pieces using socioeconomic and behavioral data, which could be in any format possible. I mean, you've got census data, you've got 
purchasing data from organizations like TransUnion, Transamerica, Experian, none of those fit a typical healthcare format. So being able to bring that in, utilize that, and understand why this diabetic patient isn't managing their A1C, it's because they're going out to dinner five nights a week and their favorite restaurant's Burger King. So. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and you, you touched on it a little bit, but how does, part, part of Mark, how does partnering with Mark Logic, you know, help you to that end? And, and you, you've become somewhat of an expert on Mark Logic in a, in a, in a, in a short amount of time. I wouldn't call it exactly an expert, but I can definitely see the value that the Mark Logic database, data hub, brings to our organization and gives us the foundation to be able to put all the other analytic pieces around it to do the predictive modeling and to utilize the data to the fullest capability possible. The data hub allows us to do that by bringing it in as is without having to do the upfront data modeling and take the time and the effort um, to be able to bring the data in, utilize it, and then provide actionable results back to our customers. Fantastic. So, uh, closing thoughts here, and uh, this could be an easy or hard question, I'm not sure where it's going to land, but if you were to put a billboard up at, uh, at SFO, succinctly describing NT's vision for the healthcare vertical, what would it be? This is an advertisement for, uh, for NTT. Okay, so I'm going to take further, and I'm going to say it's going to be an advertisement for analytics in healthcare. It's the right data at the right time, used for the right purpose to, to facilitate innovation and growth for our health plan customers. Fantastic. Karen, thanks so much for coming out today. Thank Appreciate you, Jim.